Hey y'all, Joseph Lipper here, and I want to show you the secrets on how to pick up these blocks with an intake this year. It can seem a little bit challenging, they're rolling all over the place, how do you pick them up, how do you pick up a bunch of them at once, and I want to show you, not just on this kind of robot, but how on pretty much any design of robot, how you can design an intake that will effectively pick up these blocks. So, let's get into it. Now, any intake is going to have two main parts. We have our roller right here that does the picking up of the game piece. And then on the bottom here, we have this backing plate or rubber bands or something to hold the ball up against the roller to make sure it can convey up the intake. For the roller, I used a rubber band roller and I wrapped it up in mesh. I use a rubber band roller because it is a lot more compressive. And so what that means is when you're picking up a hard plastic game object, a rubber band roller it needs to do all the squishing because this game object isn't going to squish at all. And so you need something to squish out of the way to help really grab it as you go up and through your intake. Now, flex wheels do totally work and they can work. They're just a lot more difficult to get working. Um, often you'll need a CAD model or something to really get the geometry right for these. But for a rubber band roller, I could move this pretty much a quarter inch, half inch in any direction and it would still work just fine. These rubber band rollers are really, really forgiving on their placement. And another thing I like about rubber band rollers is that you can use the sprocket on the side for the chain. So I have our chain going here and going onto the sprocket. That's the same sprocket that the rubber bands are on for this roller. And yes, this does cause a little bit more friction. And if you're super worried about the friction, you can totally add another sprocket off to the side. I wanted a little bit bigger intake, so I didn't put the sprocket off into the side. I used some really low profile rubber bands and that really uh, minimize the friction of this chain. I've run this many, many hours of drive practice and it totally works great. I would totally recommend doing something like this. Now, if you're like, Joseph, this is really cool, but I'm not really sure what you're talking about. This looks really complicated. Can I have some close-up pictures? Absolutely. Just click the link in the description below and I will send you some pictures and videos on how this works. Um, just some more detail to help get you started on your intake. Now, the wrapping and mesh is just to keep the rubber bands from getting tangled in absolutely everything. When you're playing against other robots, they're going to crash into your intake and you don't want your rubber bands getting stuck on the robot, so the mesh really helps with that. Now, the second part of the intake. Our rubber bands back here. These bend out of the way also, so when you're picking up this hard plastic game piece, both the roller squishes out of the way and the rubber bands down there squish out of the way. So if I were to turn it on and pick it up, it goes up just like that. And that's really key because that means that I can grab like two of them and pick them up also. And it can pick up pretty much as many as you want at once. It's not gonna get jammed. That's another benefit of all having everything super squishy in here is that it can pick them up and it'll just squish out of the way if something doesn't go right. And it'll, most of the time, if you designed it correctly, it, it'll totally just go up and into the conveyor. So that's all you need to know for intakes. As for how you put the roller in the right position, like I said, rubber band rollers are really forgiving. But how you put it in the right position, you just put a block there and then you just kind of hold the roller. Like if this wasn't attached to the robot, you would like hold the roller in a, a position until it like hits the block. And then that's kind of at the height that you put the roller. That's just how you figure out what height to put that at. So that's all you need to know for designing your intake. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and th that link in the description for the pictures. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.